not often that you can say that an entire team's performances have changed over the course of a winter, but we can say that with FDJ and their time trial performances this year. They've put in a bunch of work in the wind tunnels on the velodrome and they've got a brand new bike which is going to be available from 2017. This is the Lapierre Aerostorm DRS. The DRS stands for Drag Reduction System, which I guess is the aim with any time trial or any work you put in on your time trial position. So we really should start with the new frame. We've got a couple of interesting points. We've got the two fairings. So there's a fairing up here at the front and at the back. That's similar to what Trek have done with their speed concept bike. It nestles the brakes and any cables away, keeps them out of the wind, keeps everything as aero as possible. And our friend Kaylee Fretz of Ella News actually pointed out that these fairings are meant to be structural to be UCI rule compliant, but we're presuming that as we're a UCI race and as Trek do something similar, they are somehow UCI rule compliant. It's got a Lapierre seat post that goes with the frame and up front they've got an integrated stem and base bar. So the base bar is still down as DRS, drag reduction system, and you can just switch the stem's length. We've seen the mechanics doing that on a couple of the time trial bikes back at the truck. Also, they have like this Team Sky Pinarellos that we've seen, they've kind of bowed the forks out, which for, in some circumstances has been shown to be quicker out on the road. So when there's a lot of turbulence or a lot of wind, then it's actually better to have a slightly wider fork than a narrower fork, so I'm told. After the frame, which team sponsor Lapierre have put lots of work into, we should look at the positions that the riders are using, which the team have put loads of work into over the winter. This bike belongs to rider Mark Sarrow, and you can see up at the front, he's using Pro Missile Extensions. He's running skateboard grip tape on the extensions and he's got Dura satellite shifters only for the rear mech. So this one goes up, no, this one goes down, that one goes up, that one goes down. On the uh, bull bars he's got his front mech and his rear mech, both Dura Ace Di2. Mechs are Dura Ace Di2 also and he's running a K-Edge chain catcher. Chain rings, they're 5542, so not the biggest chain rings we've seen. Some guys are running something up to a 56 for the time trial that we're filming ahead of. And the cassette is an 11 through to 25, so a slightly tighter range than he might run on his road bike. Wheels, they're from Shimano Subsidiary Pro, so he's got the Pro Techstream disc wheel at the back. That's a lenticular shape, so the non-drive side really curves outwards. And he's got a Pro tri-spoke up front. Tires, they're running Continental tubulars as they do on their road machines and these are Continental Podium TT Pro Limited tubulars. Pro Limited suggests that you and I probably can't get hold of them. They're 25 millimetres wide. The Podium TT tires are time trial specific so they go with slightly less puncture protection and things like that and a lighter latex tube. The saddle, that's a Physique RS so that's a slightly shorter saddle than the rest of the Physique road racing range and it's intended for time trialists and triathletes. Like the shifting and the braking, pedals are Shimano and their Dura Ace too. Time some vital statistics. So for a time trial bike with disc wheels and a tri-spoke setup, this one's actually pretty light. It comes in at 8.345 kilograms. Saro's reach from the nose of his Physique RS saddle up to the tips of the tri-bars is 83 centimeters. Again, pretty standard for a rider of average height at the Shira Detalia, it seems. The saddle height is 75 centimeters. That's about it. Do let us know what you think of this bike in the comments down below and if you've enjoyed the video, please like and share it. To see our Giro d'Italia playlist where you can catch up with all of our videos from this great race, click right there. To see our pro bike playlist where you can see more fantastic bikes like this, click down there. And to subscribe to GCN, click on the globe and there's a link to our shop right there.